Hello my YouTube friends, this is Noah with Save Green here and today I wanted to talk a little bit about Mint Sim and their phone plans and their throttling. I know some of you have asked through YouTube Messenger if Mint Sim actually just gets rid of the internet altogether when you go over or if they throttle you down. Well they throttle you down you will still have internet. You will still be able to get your emails. You will still be able to send emails, receive emails, send and receive text messages. If you send a picture or someone sends you a picture, it might take a little longer. Eventually you will get it. It's just slowed down, so it'll take longer. That being said, you might want to look into which plan is best for you. And folks, this is very easy. Just look at your current carrier and see what is your average data use per month. And you want to do that for a good six months at least. So for example, if in six months you've used 30 gigs of data, you divide that by six, that's five gigs per month. That is your average. So you might want to go with a five gig plan. And the difference is only five bucks from two gigs to five gigs. So that's one thing I would recommend. Look into how much you're using and then you can see what plan is best for you. Now if you look here at the screen, they just sent me today a text message that I just went over my 2 gig data plan and here's where they try to get you, okay? They'll try to sell you 1 gig for $10 or 3 gigs for $20. Both of those are outrageous. Now we are on vacation, we're not at home so we don't have a Wi-Fi connection everywhere we go like we do back home and this is not the norm for us so we're still gonna stick to the 2 gig plan for now we might look into the 5 gig plan I mean for five dollars I might just go for that but uh, we'll see when we get close to that day it's gonna be sometime in June and today is April we're in April right now so maybe in two months I'll, I'll have enough time to think about it but how slow do they throttle you down let's take a look so I have my uh, speed test ready and you can see that it's showing I'm, I'm on LTE for Mint and as you can see it's, it's not uh, Comcast which is the carrier here. This is actually through Mint that I'm going to do the speed test. So let's see. And it's going to be slow. So as you can see it's not really extremely fast, it's actually very slow. but it's not like you have no internet. You still have internet. I still have been able to browse with this speed. I still have been able to send and receive emails. It just takes longer. Pages will open slower, et cetera, et cetera. But you don't, it's not like you don't have internet. I know that is a big difference maker for some because some phone carriers actually turn off your internet and that's it, you're done. You have no more internet. But with MintSim, they just throttle you down and you have very slow internet from that point forward. Uh, I hope this is something that can help you see uh, because it might be a difference maker for some deciding whether you want to go with the 2 gig plan, the 5 gig plan, or the 10 gig plan so you can see how slow it, it actually goes. But you still have internet. So it's just a little something so everyone can see and that will help, help you determine what plan do you want to go with with MintSim. So far I've been very happy with them. I haven't had any issues as far as call quality or their internet or anything whatsoever. And I've, to this day I haven't had to get on the phone and call them for any support issues. I've done a few of the uh, customer support or just, just a question here and there through their chat service online. And it's been clear cut and dry so I haven't had any issues that way. But it's just a little something. You will get an, a text message just like the one you see at the bottom there that says you have used 100% of your 4G LTE data. Visit their website or text up data to that to 6700 to add more 4G LTE data. And you can, and like I said, these prices to me are outrageous. Unless you are in dire need of quick internet, I'm not gonna buy not even one gig or three gigs. I mean, I literally have just a few days before my plan renews, so it's not a big difference maker for me. But if you by mistake go with a two gig 
plan because you want to be a Scrooge and you know for five dollars you can go with five gigs and you should have gone with a five gigs and you're pretty much stuck with that plan for depending how long you bought it if you bought it for uh, for six months I think that's what you're stuck with uh, they might be changing their policy I have to check on that but that's what that's where they get you and that's the reason why they're telling you that you would have to spend either ten dollars or twenty dollars for one gig or for three gigs it's it's outrageous but anyway thank you for watching this